Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick here with a review roundup video for Logan. So this is personally one of my most anticipated films of the year just in general, you know, disregarding its uh, superhero affiliation because I think it actually has the potential to be really amazing just from what we've seen in the movie and the different trailers and clips and things like that. So I'm very pumped up about this, but as you guys know, the reviews embargo has lifted today, February 17th as of 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. So basically I'm just going to run down, you know, the top critics out there who are talking about the movie good and bad just so we can get a variety of opinions on the film. So first up we have Empire.com they say quote yes the Wolverine movie without Wolverine in the title is definitely the best one yet. The grown up, ballsy, character driven and grounded. It feels right that it should be it the last one but it also feels a bit of a shame. They gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Next up we have IGN here their review says quote Logan is in many ways an emotional heavy picture but it's also an uplifting one that reminds us that it's okay to fight for something more, something better. It's an amazing swan song for the Wolverine character and for Jackman and perhaps the best X-Men movie yet. They gave it a 9.7 out of 10, which is a very high praise from IGN, I guess. Uh, you know, they're, you know, known for giving kind of odd reviews in terms of the numerical, you know, ordering of it, but I mean, 9.7 is pretty damn good. That's almost near perfect right there. Next up we have the big guns here, Variety, THR, and The Wrap. Pretty much they're all in agreement that the film is very great, it's uh, grounded, you know, it has a very grungy look about it, James Mangold has amazing direction and everything, and you know, they just talk about how the film goes far more cohesive and gripping uh, in terms of, you know, comparing it to The Wolverine from 2013, which was also directed by James Mangold. It seems like this movie is very much a home run for the studio and the character. Uh, we have Collider here next up saying that Logan is a unique film, it's not a game changer for the X-Men franchise or the superhero genre as a whole, the result is a movie that does have a few faults, but overall Logan provides a fond farewell to Jackman and the character he's defined for an entire generation. Collider.com gave it an A-, which is very high praise as well, and the only negative review that I could find for the film so far was from Tim Grayerson over at Screen International. He said, Logan self-consciously aspires to retire the steel clawed hero with epic grandeur, and the results are often rousingly bleak, and yet the risks taken only make the formulaic redemption story and cliched emotional underpinnings increasingly frustrating. So you know, a lot of people that are critics that have been around for quite some time, they've probably seen the story like this time and time again. It very much feels like a western story uh, at its heart for Logan. So, you know, definitely looking forward to the film. It seems like the response so far is overwhelmingly positive and I just can't wait to see the movie now. So let me know down in the comment section below how hyped are you guys to see Logan in theaters when it opens March 3rd? And also, what character are you most excited to see in the film? I know a lot of people are very much looking forward to seeing X-23 uh, explored on the big screen. If you guys are new to the channel and like this video, subscribe for more content like this. We upload daily videos here at the Hyper Network. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Nick and I'll catch you guys next time.